and welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of the Day for today. It's the 27th of November 2023. We hope you had a good weekend. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Let's look at what's come across the news. Of course, as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session, we look back and see what's created movements today. And we had that mixed session on a short and trading day on Friday with all indices, but the Nasdaq eking out small gains. NASDAQ was only just below neutral and there were more advances versus decliners. So it was really a repositioning day, nothing of any note. US futures, however, are slightly lower in Asian trading to start the week. In Asian markets are mixed. They actually started positively, but the ASX has dropped down to around about 0.4% to the downside. European futures are now also pointing to a very cautious open. And the VIX is slightly higher in Asia, though it did move lower to around about September support on Friday. US dollar index looks weak again though today, retracing back downwards after that bounce off August levels we saw mid last week. Remains underneath the 200 EMA and may well test support. Gold is continuing to look really positive. We had that mildly higher day on Friday and we've got strength in Asia so far. Keep an eye on levels at 210 and 220 respectively. Uh, we had a really strong hour. Uh, which pushed it up towards 2020 at around about midday Eastern time. Keep an eye on that. Copper may also test 385 resistance. It looks really increasingly important. And oil remains weaker and remains within a short term range, though we do have OPEC meeting later in the week. Bitcoin is also challenging a key level to the upside, that 38,000 level that we've been referencing many times, it seems, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, it is having another go at that today. Data not likely to be a driver today. We've got some US housing data later, but that's the only thing of significance today. Later on in the week, we do have the all important PCE data, which is the Fed's favorite inflation measure, which is due out on Thursday, uh, along with other things along our data pathway throughout the week. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that are caught our eye today. And we're actually going to pop into the US and have a look at Ford Motor Company, ticker code F.MYSE, which you can trade on MT5 with Go. And you can see here we've had a few attempts now at this 1060, which is looking like an increasingly important level. We've got a short term range between 1011 and 1060. We've reached this and we could see it move significantly higher, possibly up to test this level that we saw back here in may and also prior to that earnings drop at 11.32 so a significant potential move to the upside there worth keeping an eye on so see how it opens tonight you're in the east coast you can catch the last hour around about 7 a.m melbourne time uh, we're looking at the gb pound usd in the fx world you can see there we've been trading in a short-term range towards the back end over last week and since we opened today in asia uh, you can see the last four or five hours have tested this key level around about 125.92. So below that important 126 level. So we're stuck in this range here of around about 20 pips, but we look as though we're challenging it to the downside. Fairly straight move up to get to this point previously. So we could see a move down of equal velocity of around about 35 pips. We actually quite like that, but should we get a move higher? Uh, then this 126.13 looks interesting as well. So this could be one which you could trade either way, depending on which side of that line it closes over. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.